severe winter storms, catastrophic flooding, combined with tinderbox summers and wildfires. Some of the signs of the impact of our changing climate. Emissions, scientists say, need to fall. There are global climate targets, but many set here in Scotland too. One of those is to be net zero by 2045. It means we need to reduce our greenhouse gas emissions, which are causing temperatures to rise, and then offset the emissions that we do produce by doing things like planting trees, which absorb carbon. When we reach that balance, we reach net zero. Scotland has set ambitious targets. Although emissions are reducing, we're still falling short. We failed to reach the 55% reduction from levels in the 90s that were set for 2019. We have uh, quite tough targets. Uh, they're amongst the best. If you created a league table, we'd be near the top. But they're still not good enough. So everyone is supposed to be trying to keep the world below a temperature change of one and a half degrees. And our targets are not good enough. So everyone needs to be improved. <laughs> way we travel will need to change too. The aim is to phase out new petrol and diesel cars in just nine years' time. Hydrogen buses and trains will help reduce our emissions, as will more investment in electric charging points. The aim had been to generate the equivalent of 100% of our electricity from renewables by the end of last year. We're close, but that target's been missed too, albeit by less than 3%. We are doing well offshore and onshore. Even with solar these days, we're, we're seeing massive improvements too. So it's a little bit disappointing that it feels like we kind of took our foot off the gas a little bit there. However, like we say, on a good day, we're still over 90% renewables. We can do better and we can do, benefit, uh, we can do better to bring the benefits of those back into the country and into communities as well while we're at it. How we heat our homes will also need to change. The aim, one million homes to be running on low or no emission heating systems by 2030. But the critical point will be to ensure that the poorest are not hardest hit. The, the glue that's going to make this happen is finance, climate finance. And having access to financial resources is absolutely vital in our journey to reaching uh, a, a low carbon economy. Globally, we are seeing the effects of climate change. Here and around the world, pressure is being put on governments and experts say urgent action is needed. As usual, the, whatever we come up at the international level, it seems just uh, um, too slow. There's no more time to have just sort of in speeches, in these courses, a signal of hope. We really need them to be implemented. The way we travel, the energy we consume and the heating of our homes, our way of life will need to change if we're to reach our targets. The time to meet them is fast running out. Stephen Brown, STV News.